What is up everybody? Today we have a Confessor Splash deck from Noid Hex. Noid Hex, of course, master deck builder in uh, Command & Conquer Rivals. Probably probably the most innovative deck builder in the game right now. Um, only really him and SRPSS have actually made really interesting decks, as far as I can tell. So yeah, I'd say Noid Hex. SRPSS hasn't done anything lately either, so I think Noid Hex is probably the best deck builder in Rivals right now. Anyway, the deck is Confess Your Sins, because we have Confessor, I guess. I don't know. Um, it's got a lot of anti-air. We have like four units that shoot up, but we have no lasers, so you kind of need a varied set of anti-air. Um, this is obviously our scout unit. This is our heavy anti-vehicle unit. We've got two heavy anti-air. This can double up as anti-light vehicle. We've got buggy, which is a good tech switch out from barracks, which is nice, because one of the big issues with opening barracks without lasers is you can't tech switch quickly and cheap but you can with a buggy so and then obviously we've got the confessor splash so we're gonna try it out and see how it goes Excoundrel says control. i miss rivals with blade oh thank you Excoundrel. i miss rivals with Excoundrel. i remember back when i had professional shoutcaster Excoundrel shoutcasting events with me back when i was a little newbie streamer good times man good times he didn't even charge me his exorbitant rates. If you guys have ever seen him cast some League of Legends, just know that he charges millions of dollars to do that. Tens of millions. League of Legends, Riot is going broke trying to keep this guy paid. I'm um, obviously, obviously that is, uh, I just made that up. I don't, I have no idea how much they pay him. They probably just pay him in like airfare. He probably begs them to let him cast. That's probably what actually happens. Anyway, let's play some games. So we're against Kai. Kito. Uh, what I'm going to do here is put my damage rifleman out in front in an attempt to get my opponent to attack them. And I'm going to go buggy. The reason I switched very early, I normally don't like tech switching early, but I think buggy is really powerful early game. Oh, he's pop capping? Cool. I didn't realize you were such a cool person, Kai Kito. But now I know. Now, now I have the knowledge that you are, in fact, a really cool dude who pop caps and not uh, Agent Shadow level of... I'm not going to say it, but it begins with D and it ends with bag. Just in case anyone's wondering. Alright, so he's got Mohawk. Stealth Tank's going to annihilate that. Buggy is also very good against Razorback decks because it kills the missiles and the Razorback. So, unlucky my dude, I have Buggy in my deck and you can't beat me. Feels bad. And I'm going to make a Confessor soon. And that's going to feel even worse for you. Alright, there's a Grenadier. Not sure why anyone would make a Grenadier unless they're absolutely forced to, but there you go. Maybe he got paid to play Grenadiers, I don't know. I don't know why else he would do it. We're going to obviously use our rifles to kill them. That is one of the big problems with Grenadiers. Uh, rifles actually kill them. When you when you play Mutants, it feels like they're basically immune to Rifles. But Grenadiers, they die real easy. Alright, let's see if we can get a Confessor out. Pretty close now to that Confessor. I've seen a lot of people pop capping lately, i got to say, man. Like, I don't know why it's become such an epidemic. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's been a lot, I've seen a lot of pop capping lately, and I don't really know why it's suddenly become, like, the hot new thing to do. Alright, so we're going to boost our stealth tank and take out this Razorback. See, like, a Razorback. And obviously we have these badass Confessors as well. I actually don't know how Confessors do against Razorback anymore. It used to be, like, they were kind of terrible. But, obviously, Razorback got nerfed. It might be that Confessor beats them. I don't know if we're going to find out today, though, on account of winning the game too easily. Let's boost our Confessor. I'm going to let the Confessor fight the Razorback so we can find out. Oh my god, look at it get wrecked. Wow, that was not close. Get wrecked, my Razorback friend. Alright, see you later, Kaikito. Oh, you think you can kill Mighty Confessor with puny Razorback? You fool. Alright, GG, I guess. Okay, we're going to go rifles first. I like to scout. I like to get onto the middle path. See what Tebow is up to. He's got lasers first. Nice. Are they going to walk away from my rifles? They are. Very nice. Where are they going to go, Tebow? Is it going to be a pad? Is it going to be the harvester? Nobody knows. Oh, it's the back pad. I actually think that uh, running them away here is the play. Like, this is a good play to run them away because now he gets to keep them alive. Now he still has... Now if, if I tech switch into something to fight the flames, he still has lasers to fight it. Now he's suiciding them, which kind of detracts from what I just said, but maybe he's decided they're just not going to be useful. I think it's fair enough. I think I think he's played it pretty reasonably. Alright, so we're going to go buggy to fight the flamers. Obviously, massed flamers is going to beat rifles. 
But the reason flamers are bad is that he spent 80 on two flamers to fight a couple of riflemen. And now I have two buggies and he has no money because he spent it all on flame troopers. So we're going to kill off some flamey boys. I'm actually going to use double buggy to kill this bike. Buggies do pretty well against bikes. Oh no, there's two bikes now. Run away buggy. Uh, so we're probably going to want mutants here. Yeah, we'll get some mutants, get them down here. I don't know if I need to boost them yet. I don't really want to, so I'm just not gonna. I'm gonna boost this buggy instead and take out these flamey boys. Yeah, get them, buggy. Buggy and gun. Name a more iconic duo. You just can't. Alright, cool. So we're gonna win the first missile thanks to the mutants and the buggy. Buggy, of course, is one of the greatest units in the history of rivals. Nobody has ever beaten a deck with Buggy in it. Buggy has a 100% win rate. If you if you check the stats, you can't check the stats because you haven't got access to them. But if you could, you would see that Buggy has a 100% win rate except against other Buggies. Obviously, you can't actually check those stats, so you have to take my word for it. But if you could check them, you would see that Buggy is the ultimate, the ultimate unit in Rivals. So I think what I'm going to do here is save for a Confessor. Yeah, let's save up for a Confessor. That'll probably be good. And then we're going to get some cheap units just to go and hold pads. We'll get some Ripley boys. Going to get these Confessors to take out these Flames. That shouldn't be too difficult for them. Yeah, see you later, Flames. Obviously going to beat these uh, lasers as well. We're going to ignore the lasers, to be honest. The game's kind of close to over. Lasers aren't really going to be relevant on my half. All right, Confessors are going to take out these flames as well. Oh, dear. Let's get the boost. Go, Confessor. Do your job, man. What's wrong with you? Oh, a Widowmaker? That's pretty scary. If the game wasn't over. Rip, Tebow. Nice Widowmaker, my dude. And a GG. Nice Widowmaker. Why would anyone play Widowmaker? Why? Okay, so we're up against Eric Kill You. I'm hoping that he's not Eric. Um, if he's Eric, we're in trouble, obviously, because Eric kills me. Uh, but if he's not Eric and he's just warning me about Eric, then we're probably going to be okay. Well, he's gone double half, so I feel like he probably is not Eric and he's just trying to give me a warning. So I appreciate that, my dude. Uh, we missed the block, but that's okay. We're going to go for some mutants. We also showed him that we had rifles, which sucks, but whatever. Let's go mutants and hope he doesn't open flame troops. Flame troops would be sad. Oh, he's got an air tower. That's also sad. There's no air unit that isn't going to wreck me here. Yeah, sad times. Um, okay, so Buggy is going to struggle here. And we don't have bikes and we can't afford a stealth tank. Oh, I got the harvester kill. I could have used that to make a stealth tank. This blade guy. Bit of a noob. Bit of a noob. All right, now we get the, now we get the mighty stanky boy. What, what is he doing? Is he going for my base? <laughs> I mean, you know what? I love it. I love it. I've done it. I've done it to other people. I can I can respect this play. Catship does a lot of base damage, man. Fair enough. You know what else does a lot of base damage? Mutant Marauder. Eric kill you. Have you considered that, you know, actually mutants kill you? Oh my god. Can I kill these things before they kill my mutants? Go, go, go. <laughs> Nice unit, my G. Nice unit. Oh, Scarabs. I don't understand why anyone plays Scarab. Like, seriously. It wasn't good before it got nerfed. Now it's just, like, actually horrendous. Alright, GG, my dude. GG. Alright. I should have opened rifles before half, but uh, I'll be honest, I was a little distracted at the start of this game. So when I'm, when I'm not paying attention, I tend to just smash that harvester button. Because it gives you a few seconds where you don't have to do anything. <laughs> Honestly, guys, if you ever see me go harvester first, it probably just means I wasn't paying attention when I loaded into the game. Because I do, I do genuinely think going scout unit first is better. Alright, so we're going to snap go back buggy. There's two reasons for this. Firstly, like I said previously, buggy is very strong early, so you want to use it quickly because it loses a lot of power the later the game goes. And secondly, this is a map where mobility is really important. So I really, really want to get my, uh, I really want to get my mobile units going quicker. I've had games where I lose the first missile on this map just because like rifles take too long to move around. 
So I want to transition into buggies quickly. Uh, we didn't have a good answer to the Banshee available. We don't have laser dro uh, lasers. Obviously we have stealth tank, but that's expensive. So I just went uh, went double buggy to fight that Banshee. We lost one buggy, so we're still up like 30 Tiberium on the trade. So it's, it's still great. And obviously the buggies can also fight the Venoms. So this would be an easy first missile here. I want to try and take out these scavengers before they get too much money. I think this venom, yes, yeah, run the venom away, uh, the rifles away, sorry, because I don't want the scavengers to get 10. Cool. And we'll bring the stealth tank down to kill this. And I guess mutants to go after the harv. It's pretty hard to stop mutants on a harvester. I'll get another buggy. Because this first buggy is going to lose to the scavs now. Alright, let's boost this. We know he's going to respond with venom, so I get a stealth tank nearby. There we go. And the harvester goes down incredibly quickly because mutants do super high damage to to halves and we're gonna try and go confessor now pretty close to confessor boy someone earlier asked uh, why I'm not using the confessor boost very often the reason is that you have to put two units together for the confessor to boost another infantry so there's very few infantry units I want to put next to my confessor because I want to split up my units so I can cover more more parts of the map if we were on Fighting Pit, I would be putting my Confessor next to Infantry more often, because that's a more closed off map. But since we're on Orbit right now, it's, it, I just don't want to... <laughs> I thought he was going to get the Venom on the pad, but he didn't, so he feels bad, man. I think he was trying to go for a flip, but he missed it. So I think I'll probably get paid for like three months of it. Alright, Rifley Boys first, paying attention this time. I see a harvester, and I see two harvesters from my cane, my cane opponents. I'm gonna go for a second rifle. I want to just have. By the time he can build his first combat unit, I should be able to build my third. So I really like going second combat unit against double half. Yeah, like here's his first combat unit, and I can build my third now. So I'm way up on combat units. All right, so we're gonna win both of these fights because we're on defense. Yeah, easy win. Now he has to tech switch because he can't push us anymore. So this way I've managed to win the early fights very easily while simultaneously holding um, holding more than one pad so there's no stall, which is why I really like getting that extra combat unit out. And we immediately get to go stealth tank for this Banshee. And now we can try and stealth tank down a Harvester as well, maybe, maybe power out Confessor. So obviously stealth tank two shots a harvester, so you know it's pretty easy to kill a half of a stank. Get another rifle down here. Um, can we power out confessor? Not quite, but very close. Don't actually want to be stalling. I'm gonna move off this pad. And then we'll send the confessor. I guess we'll send it up, but actually the stealth tank is gonna kill the Benji. We want to stay away from the obelisk, obviously. I'm gonna let the rifles fight it. Weird, weird story. Rifles have the same infantry damage as structure damage. I don't know why, but rifles have the same structure damage as infantry. So actually, rifles do an okay job against obelisk. I know it's weird, but that's the way it is. All right, so there goes the obelisk, and the game is over. Nice, Centurion, my dude. You are victorious. Okay, we're up against Tiger. It's your boy, Tiger. But is he a Tiger King? That's the real question. Alright, so he's opened missiles. Usually when people open missiles, that means they're going to go Shock Troopers. But because he's Jackson, I think it might be Snipers instead. It could still easily be Shock Troopers, but sometimes it's Snipers with Jackson. Let's wait and see. Oh, he's just going to hit Helipad. Alright, fair enough. So I'm going to go Buggy. I'm gonna wait and see what he makes, yeah. I mean, we were almost always gonna go buggy, but if it was Orca, there's a chance we don't. But yeah, anything else, we're going buggy, because bug buggy is our anti-light uh, anti air unit here. I suspect an Orca will be coming soon, but it'll be too late for this missile. Alright, well, there you go. Easy first missile, as the Orca has predicted. But it is too late for the first missile, as predicted. Now, I can obviously go Phantom, but that's another 50 Tiberium, and I'm gonna get the Stealth Tank. The reason I let him kill my buggy is I wanted him to use his missile so he couldn't shoot the Stealth Tank. So I basically just trade 30 for 
How much is uh, an Orca? 70? Yeah, so 30 for 70. Pretty easy trade to make. I think the six missiles kills the half, but I'm not sure. Not quite. Alright, we'll get the half. We'll get the uh, buggy to go finish it off. Oh, I don't know if the buggy can do it. Go, buggy, go. You can do it. Yes, buggy and gun. Carrying the game since 19... No, wait. 2008. 2018? When did this game come out? 2018, right? Yeah, carrying the game since 2018, my dudes. Except not really, because it was actually trash for most of that period. All right, let the Orca kill here, and we go in with the stealth tank, and we win the game incredibly easily. Sorry, Tiger. Sorry, Chief. I'm guessing his last two units were tech units. Okay. So, Jim Bob. Yeah, coin. We talked about Wolverine being Wolverine. But I can't remember why Wolverine wasn't Wolverine. Oh, he's not in the Avengers. Yeah, that's why. That was why. Also, Wolverine ended up being Hawkeye because they're both useless. <laughs> that was that was the that was what we went for there, which I thought was pretty savage, but whatever. All right, so Jim Bob also has buggy and gun. Uh, but we have Mighty Mutant Marauder, which is one of the few things that really shuts down an early buggy tech switch. Mighty Morphin Mutant Marauder. Alright, so we're going to go buggy as well to fight his militants. And then we're going to go buggy buggy mutant to fight his, uh, his buggy militant. I suspect we'll see some bikes soon, because that's what people do against buggy. Oh, cat ship? Okay, I didn't expect that. We're going to make a second buggy and try and take this thing out. Dodge the cloud. Now he's in his own cloud, Omega lol. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. How you like it, Jim Bob? Betrayed by your own catalyst gunship. Feels bad, man. Oh, that's a tank. That's not good. That is not good. Oh, no, no, no. Mislick, mislick. Ah, the mislicks. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We did mislick a bunch there, though. Uh, I need to get the mutants back onto this pad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We might be dead. Oh, oh, he lets us walk on the pad? Why, Jim Bob? Why? Why would you do this? Okay, it's fine. We're alive. We're kicking. We're still doing it all. We're doing it live. I don't have time for this buggy to finish off these guys. I didn't dodge that cloud either because I'm, I'm silly. I need to dodge this cloud. Oh, oh, I didn't dodge it. Oh my god, it's all going horribly wrong. I need a stealth tank. Oh, this game is getting super close. Oh my god. This game is way more tense than I expected it to be. That scorpion was uh, not a good unit for me to see. Oh yeah, get the block. Easy. Easy, guys. I was never, no sweat. I wasn't even worried. I didn't even care. Like, I... I was totally fine, man. Not even not even a little worried there. Alright, so the stank needs to take out the cat ship. And then the mutants need to take out the tank. Uh, cat ship also... How do I put this? Um completely and utterly annihilates Confessors. Like, it is it is the, the least close matchup of all time. Like, Confessor is not a unit in a game that contains Cat Ship. So I'm a little worried about that. That is definitely a slight concern we have going on here. Uh, our tech unit is absolutely worthless. But, yeah. Our deck is real bad against tank Cat Ship, actually. Ooh, I'll tell you what, man. A boosted scorpion dies in one volley of a stealth tank. Unfortunately, that didn't happen here. <laughs> mutants, kill tank, kill tank, kill tank. Nice. Get a buggy over here. Get the mutants over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. Flip, 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 flip. Oh, GG, Jim Bob. Never even sweating it, mate. I knew, I knew we, we had it. I knew we had it the whole time. Don't even worry about it, bro. Never even, never even worried. 100% confident that whole game. Alright, we're up against STR Rider, which is obviously Strider. Um, he is from Turkish Force 6. Can you guys believe there's six Turkish Force Alliances? How is this real life? How are there six Turkish Force Alliances? Now, those of you who are au fait with the Facebook group, the Rivals Facebook group, you will know that Turkish Force loves to upload their wins to Facebook. If they ever be anyone, pretty much, they upload it to Facebook. Um, so we do have to win this game to avoid making an appearance on Facebook. So we are gonna be, we are gonna have to take it at least a little bit seriously if we want to avoid the, uh, the Facebook upload. 
Alright, so obviously we're crushing this rifle war at the moment, which is nice. He's gonna have to tech switch soon. I don't know what he's gonna go into. Probably chem buggy, knowing that he's, you know, a human being who's played rivals. That seems to be what most human beings who have played rivals do, is they go chem buggy after the rifle war. If he does, I'll go stank, probably, in immediate response. No, he's just not tech switching at all. He's just gonna let me win the rifle war. Okay, cool. First missile with just rifles. Feels amazing. He's gone double half. I would like to pressure these harvesters, so I'm gonna go stank. Looks like he wants to pressure my halves. Because, you know, he's a human being who's played rivals, so that's what they do. They try and pressure harvesters. We are going to block him with our rifles, because we are smart and handsome. And I want to make him look like a noob. Noob. And then, obviously, we will uh, kill his half. Have infinity money, all that good stuff. Make some confessors, all that, all that normal stuff that happens in a game of rivals, you know. And yeah, I guess we win because you know the game is almost over. Oh, a widow maker. Obviously, this will kill my confessors, but I don't, I don't even know if he can kill all my infantry in time before the missile just fires. Yeah, all right, GG, man. <laughs> Safe from Facebook for another day, my dudes. Another day, another Facebook avoidance. You are victorious. Three, two, We're up against four. Dude One. I, I, this is the, this is one of the few people I've ever played against who I really just want to let them win because of their name. I mean, like, how can I not let my dude win? You know, he's my dude. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. I think, I think for the integrity of the deck. But Noid Hex's sake, we're going to have to try and win. We can't allow the integrity of the deck to be compromised. But, uh, yeah, super tempted to let this guy have a, have a W. This guy, this guy and Fap Wizard. Those are the guys I want to give wins to. <laughs> I love Fap Wizard. It's a great name. Alright, so we're going to go buggy. Oh, mutant? This is actually kind of, it's interesting. His deck looks not bad against my deck. And his micro is not terrible, you know? Like, let's say, dude won, knows what's up. Maybe I won't have to let him win. Maybe he'll just win naturally. That would be exciting. Oh, he's going for the half. Oh, yes. Here we go, boys. Dude one knows how to play rivals. This isn't his first rodeo. Obviously, a boosted Marauder is going to shred, so we have to actually run away from it. We have to get off the off the Tiberium. All right, so he did spend quite a lot of money on this initial rush, so we do win the missile. And I guess we'll get our own Mutie boys for the bikes. Maybe we will do the same back to him, except we won't concede a missile doing it. Who knows? Let's find out. Let's find out, chat. Definitely gonna deal with these bikes first. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at those flamers going down. Concast flamers. No, right, now we get the half. It looks like he's also gonna go half. He didn't go half. He resisted the temptation. Oh my god. What manner of man do we have who can resist the temptation to go after an almost dead harvester? You know what? I feel bad for this guy. We might not give him a victory, but we're gonna we're gonna try and give him the harvester at least. He he's he's done the harvester. He deserves this harvester kill. Come on, dude one. Have the harv, man. It's, it's on the house. Uh, one one harvester for you, sir. One, Come on, kill the harv. Come on, you know you want it. Oh, you're so close. Kill the harv, what are you doing? Oh, yes, he got it. Oh, thank you. That's for you, dude one. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, shit, dude one again? Oh, my, my, it's literally my dude, my dude one, once again. I'm so hyped. Alright guys, we're gonna go a little crazy here. We're gonna open buggy. I don't know if this is a good plan, but... No, it's a terrible plan, because I know he has mutants. Yeah, this is real bad. I don't know why I'm opening buggy. This is really, this is a bad play. Yep, yeah, yeah, I fought it through and realized it's terrible. I'm opening buggy because he opened militant, but the fact he has mutants in the deck means this isn't a good play. It's okay though, we're gonna open buggy, we're gonna make some rifley boys for the incoming mutants. We're gonna use our buggy to clean up his initial militants. We're basically gonna make the game more mobile. Oh, he has flamers as well. Okay, yeah, buggy was not a bad plan. I do remember that he had flamers in his deck. I didn't remember, guys. I, I only remember because I saw them now. 
I had no idea. All right, cool. So good job, uh, good job, buggies. I guess rifles can now go after the mutants. Oh, boosted, aggressive man, so aggressive. Don't like that boost very much. And he's going for the half again, dude. It didn't work out last time. What makes you think it's gonna work this time? Like, I don't understand. Why are we, why are we trying the same plan? It didn't work the first time. Literally, like the same thing. He lost the first missile to go after my harvester, and then he did the same thing again. Batman deck. Fanatic Robin Mutant Bane Bikes Bat Bike Buggy Batmobile Catship Joker Phantom Bat Plane Oxana Catwoman. All right, we're doing a Batman themed deck, my dudes. <laughs> uh, that video will come out at a later date. After this, we are doing a Batman themed video. Thank you, Nod Crush. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, dude. Just need to just need to pay for the the diamond entry, basically. All right, anyway, back to the game. We are very close to being 10 and 0 with the mighty Confessor deck. Let's see if we can get Confessor out this game because we didn't do it last time we played Dude One, and I'd like to do it this time. It doesn't look like we're going to manage it, like unless I, I basically have to throw this missile in an attempt to get the uh, the Confessors out because I just don't have enough. Oh, hang on! Oh, we did it. Okay, cool. We basically, I mean, we we had to. We, it was pretty sketchy though. We had to throw away a lot of firepower to get there. All right, nice Confessors are here just in time. Boom! Confessing. Let's go. 10 and 0. Noid Hex master deck builder once again. Let's go, Noid Hex. What a beast. What a god among men! Ah, Noid Hex, truly the greatest. The greatest of deck builders. There it is, guys. 10 and 0. Confessor deck. Um, I don't think confessors are good enough to play them in like real life, like if you actually want to win games. But if you were really hankering for a Confessor deck, then oh Noid Hex is a pretty smart guy. If he says it works, I'm in. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you next time.